with meteorologist Becky Taylor. Welcome back. We are getting to enjoy some sunshine across portions of the area this evening. So that's a look out of our Emporia camera right now. Currently dry, so that's some good news. We have picked up quite a bit of rain the last few days. Mayetta camera looking a little bit more cloudy, though. We do have some showers in the vicinity, so still not out of the question to get underneath one of these rain showers for this evening and into tonight. But we're at 77 in Topeka. Dew point sitting at 71, and that's making it feel a couple of degrees warmer. So we do have that feels like temperature sitting at 79 currently. Winds, though, out of the east northeast at six miles per hour. Now we're going to start seeing more of that northerly component in these winds over the next 12 hours or so, and that's really going to help get some of this rain out of here. So current wind speeds mainly out of the east, a few out of the north and east as well, running about three to seven miles per hour, but we'll likely see those about five to 10 miles per hour, uh, especially through the daytime tomorrow. And once we get to tomorrow morning, starting to see a bit more of a northerly component in those winds as well. So that'll help to dry us out, not only with our rain chances, but with our humidity as well over the next few days. So current temperatures mid to upper 70s in the eastern half of the area where we've seen a bit more rain through much of the day. 80 degrees in Hiawatha. We're at 81 in Emporia, 81 in Manhattan and Junction City as well. But Concordia saw a bit more sunshine, stayed a bit more dry and been able to make it up to 88 degrees today. Now through the rest of the next couple of days, we are expecting temperatures tonight into the upper 60s, low 70s again. That cloud cover that we've been dealing with makes it really hard for our temperatures to cool down overnight. And then for tomorrow, we'll likely make it up into those middle 80s with the help of a little bit more dry time, maybe a touch more sunshine through the afternoon. And then dropping back into the mid 60s overnight Thursday, heading into Friday, mid 80s once again expected as we close out the week. So showers are a lot less numerous than they were before, and that's some good news. We'll start to see that trend. Uh, continuing for us through the night, but still possible, especially south and east, where we do have that flash flood watch ongoing, that you could get underneath one of those heavier downpours like we're seeing just to the south of Osage City. Same goes for just to the south of Burlington and just to the west of Garnett. So other than that, mainly expecting some light to moderate rain showers tonight, a slight chance for a brief heavy downpour. But overall, we're starting to see the effects of this area of high pressure. That was over the Pacific Northwest a couple days ago. That's what brought those really intense temperatures to places like Portland and Seattle, where they were dealing with well over 100 degrees temperatures. That's going to continue to march its way to the east a little bit the next couple of days, continuing to dry us out in here in northeast Kansas. So future track starts at 630 this evening. Just some showers. It's picking up on that area of some heavier rain pretty well this evening. But maybe just some spottier showers heading into the overnight tonight most of us staying dry. So that's some really great news for us. This is at 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. Maybe a few more spotty showers here and there, but overall rain chances diminishing over the next 24 hours or so. And eventually our cloud cover is starts to clear out as well. This is at 1 a.m. Friday morning, looking like we're going to have mostly sunny skies Friday and into the weekend. So here's our upper air patterns looking at that area of high pressure in Canada right now. As we go closer towards the weekend, that starts to dive to the south just a little bit, and we finally get to feel the effects of that just in time for the holiday weekend. That's going to leave us with quite a bit of sunshine, dry conditions, thank goodness, and temperatures slowly but surely warming up for us. So we'll be in those middle 80s Friday and into Saturday, upper 80s by the time we get to Sunday. It looks like Sunday night looks to be dry, so firework shows, barbecues, anything you're going to go to on Sunday night looks to be A-OK -okay with the terms of the forecast, and then we'll be in those lower 90s as we start off next week. So enjoy the cool down then. Yes, it's it's been, I mean, fairly brief if you think about it. It's not quite as long as that really long heat wave that we were dealing with, but it does feel like it's been long enough, hasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Just crazy being out there on the road today. Got to watch that hydroplaning. You got to take it slow and steady. Yeah, cruise control off if you get underneath one of those heavier showers. Absolutely.